1. Human experimentation by Japanese Unit 731 during World War II, committed primarily against innocent Chinese civilians. Nothing I've ever heard of in my life, including in fiction, is darker than the horrors committed for years by Unit 731. A military biological and chemical weapons research division of the Japanese Imperial Military there's not enough room in a Reddit post to list half of it, but here's a taste. Dissections of living babies, pregnant women, ETC, without anesthesia, also known as a vivisection. Usually after they had been deliberately exposed and left to suffer from horrible diseases, chemical and biological weapons, and so on. Freezing limbs off of victims. Horror movie sadistic surgeries involving cutting off limbs and attaching them to the wrong sides of a victim. Or removing organs and connecting the tubes back together without the organs to see what would happen. Such as running the esophagus straight to the intestines with no stomach in between. Not to mention the fact that the victims were routinely tortured for the sake of torture. Without even the flimsy excuse of science being conducted. And we're talking about thousands upon thousands of victims. Usually hapless Chinese civilians, political prisoners, Poes, and the homeless. Over the course of years in huge facilities, with thousands of staff committing these atrocities. The icing on the cake. General MacArthur and the rest of the US government found out about it when they captured Japan and they granted Unit 731 immunity for their war crimes, so long as they share their findings with America and only America. Many of the former Unit 731 members even went on to have very successful and profitable futures in Japan after the war. Edit based on a couple of the comments I've gotten where people are making judgment, calls about the modern day Japanese for this. I'd just like to make clear that I hold no prejudice against the Japanese, and I'm certainly not encouraging others to. Every country and people has truly horrific pasts, and almost all of them sweep it under the rug as best they can, even in our generation. We can argue that torture conducted by US soldiers in Guantanamo or Abu Ghraib, for example, aren't half as bad or were more justified. But ultimately, torture is torture, and sadism is sadism. A culture or government that begins to permit such things and justify them as well on its way down the spiral with enough motivation. Let's not fool ourselves into comforting racism or nationalism. That our countries or people are incapable of atrocities of our own, even today. 2. One that really stands out to me is of the Filipino zoo girl that was on display in the Coney Island. Zoo in 1914. She was bound by ropes and people tossed peanuts at her. It's just heartbreaking to see something like that happen, especially to a child so young. Many people have no idea that human zoos existed, but they are definitely a dark part of history. What's crazy is that there have still been some that have popped up in the 21st century, although not as cruel as they used to be. 3. The Radium Girls In the 1920s, they worked at a watch company painting the hours and the watches using radium, a radioactive element that glows in the dark. They did this with no PPE and weren't told radium is dangerous. Meanwhile, the chemists had full PPE and worked in a sealed environment. Worse, they were instructed to lick the tip of the brush to make a very fine point. Some of them would paint their nails or their teeth with it for fun when they went out at night. They would develop cancer whenever the paint touched. And many of them had such decay in their jaws that their mandibles had to be held on with bandages. <laughs> 